So the next sources of finance sesh is going to be on trade credit. Trade credit is basically when you buy raw materials or components from your suppliers and you buy them today, but you pay the cash later. So you get the raw materials or components today, but you pay the cash later. Usually that's somewhere between 30 to 60 days, but it's not unheard of to have 90 days to make that payment. This is known as the credit terms, the amount of days you have to repay your supplier with the cash. Things to note, trade credit, well, it's certainly a short term source of finance. It's external finance because it's coming from your supplier and it's used by new and startup businesses. In fact, it's probably the most common short term source of finance that is used by new or startup businesses. But additionally, it can be used by established businesses. OK, let's go through the pros and the cons. So why is it good to use trade credit? So number one, it's simple to arrange. And if you can maintain the credit terms, so you can make sure you make that payment in the set amount of days, then it's easy and you can keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. And you build a relationship with your supplier because you agree we're going to get these a thousand units from you and we're going to pay you in 60 days. And if you keep doing it, then you'll build a relationship for the future. And that's good for you and your supplier. Number two, it's a cheap form of a source of a short term source of finance. And why I'm saying it's a cheap form is because it's usually cheaper versus if you were to take another short term source of finance, such as an overdraft, where you usually pay quite high interest rates. And thirdly, just to be clear, you give up no control in your business if you use trade credit. So you keep 100% ownership, nothing's taken from you in that respect. On the other side, the cons. So the first thing is there is a risk if you do not make that payment in 30 to 60 days, whatever you've agreed for your credit terms, that you might spoil the relationship you have with your supplier. Worst case scenario is you abuse it and you make payments very late or overdue multiple times and the supplier no longer supplies to you. So there's long term consequences if you don't do that. And that could be a real big problem for your business because it could mean that you don't actually have another supplier who can supply you with those raw materials or components that your business needs in order to make it good or service. So it could have really bad long term consequences for you. That actual risk is known as credit risk, if you want to write it down. Um, secondly, is that if you don't make the payment in the set credit terms, then you could be liable for a large fine. And that large fine is obviously effectively a big cost to your business, therefore reducing your profits. So I hope that helps with credit terms and I'll see you at the next Sources of Finance video.